Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Appreciate you rolling with us. Another five in five as we keep this thing moving here. It wasn't the best two for three uh, or two for five, technically two and three on Monday night. But we've been doing well in these videos and we bounce right back on what should be a rather easy Thanksgiving to break down and blast away. Now, when you think of Thanksgiving football, if you go back like I do, it's the two gentlemen behind me who you can't find on the planet anymore. But don't worry. Don't worry. They will live in the top echelon of sport history to hear a Thanksgiving game. You know what you're talking about? The turducken. If you know about the turducken, then you know. Hit the thumbs up button, please. I'm not going to ask much. Make sure you subscribe, please. I'm really not going to ask a ton. I actually have money for you, courtesy of BetMGM. I'm going to turn $10 into $200. So go ahead. Pay attention. That's not quite yet, though, because we need to start the clock. And we will. First play. Clock's already running. First play, first game. Huh? Okay. But there are only three games. How are we going to get around this? Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. I actually just slammed this personally. Not that. You know, I should be betting everything I'm giving you. Hey, something's a little off here with the Detroit Lions team total. This is at 20 and a half. They are averaging 25, part of me, points per game this year. So you have a Detroit team at home that's averaging 25 points per game on the season. Oh, that's right. They're at home where they average 32 points per game at home. So forget about doing the math and all this other stuff about, well, what Buffalo needs to score in order to cover that nine and a half, 10, et cetera. The fact that you are now four and a half points below the season average, not just the home average uh, with a team, mind you, in Detroit, whose head coach is nine and four against the spread eight and three ATS is a home dog. This is where we want to begin right now. First play is right there. All right, let's go to the second game. This is going to be a two for one right here. I'm going to go right to player props, and it's going to be the same prop. Two different guys on the opposite side of the field. Holy shit, this moved already. This is a 43 and a half when I gave it out on the Discord. I'm fine with it at 46 and a half. Still fine with this. This gets to be 49 and a half, 50 yards. It gets a little dicey, but at 46 and a half, granted that it's moved three yards. These are props, player props. They're volatile. They can move their smaller bet markets. So money can move these over the top. That's why it hasn't been moved necessarily over the top right now. So Ezekiel Elliott's value is that normally this is a 55, 56 and a half yard prop, but since he's been devalued with performance and Tony Pollard stepping right in. You see where Pollard is 63 and a half. These guys have essentially swapped numbers. Now mentioned, love the Giants in another video, the NFL parlay video. It's up on the discord as well. I like the Giants to cover this game. And I think a lot of that has to do, it's a 10 point spread. So that doesn't mean win outright. It just means cover this game. A lot of it though, has to do with 37 and a half for Daniel Jones, a number that we have seen him hit on the road as a result of being a heavy dog. He's going to down another receiver. He's going to have to, at some point, move the sticks. And, you know, their opponent in Dallas does a really good job in limiting the run game. So Saquon Barkley may be up a creek. And it may simply be just dropping back and trying to exploit a defense that is just not giving up the big play. Daniel Jones has two and a half big runs in him to clear this, to get to 38 on the ground. All right, last game, but not our last play. What? 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 Don't worry, I got you. I got you. We'll go to player props here. You know, Nick Folk kicked three times last week. Nobody had any business kicking three times in that Jets game even though they got down as close as they did. Now, he's one for three, but he was kicking against a godlike wind. The reality is, is that outside of that, the Patriots have relied on Nick Folk's leg extensively, especially over the last two weeks. Now, you take out that stinker to the Chicago Bears in which it was over in a blink of an eye, and they didn't need to kick by any means. Folk is active. In fact, we have two outlier games. Last week with the wind and the god-awful elements, 
and that Bears game, which has only happened once outside of the start of the season. That's the first week. But other than that, you're getting action from Nick Folk. In fact, three of those four games, four of his last six, you're getting action. Three of his last six, he's kicked four field goals. Last play. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I know this is a Thanksgiving day and we're going to get back to it. And I'm going to hit you with the five and five and all that. I think this is going to drop. Hey, man, the Washington commanders have been lights out for us. We have been covering spreads five straight since they made those changes. that We talked about both on offense and defense, mainly on defense. Something is up with Washington. They just come off two humongous victories. And now... They came into this favored by six. It was immediately bet down. I'm going to take the Falcons as it's back up to four. I'm going to take this right now as a money line play. Our upset of the week. Plus 170 still at four. North of where this opened, mind you, at three. They haven't laid more than three points to anyone with Ron Rivera as their head coach. Take that for what it's worth. Not good. Rivera's 2-5-1 and one ATS, by the way, as a favorite of three or more points. That goes back to 2018 in Carolina. Oh, my God. Hands up. I know the buzzer. Stop. All the other stuff. We got you. We got you. We're good. We're good. There it is. All right. Let's run it back for you. I do want to show you, though, real quick, what's going on here at BetMGM, how you can turn $10 into $200. So you're not on BetMGM for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't care. I honestly, I don't care because I'm not even asking you to be fully active on BetMGM. I'm asking you to open up something to have the availability to be active on BetMGM. That's a big part of this right now is trying to open up as many accounts and whatever. Maryland right now is legal. Welcome to the fold, Maryland. We got you. We got you. Got a nice little deal here for you where you can join the betting community at BetMGM now. So what I want you to do is click this link below. Look, you don't have to tell anybody over at BetMGM that you're not there, that you're not. There's no embarrassing conversation, all right? Nothing like that. All you need to do is just click the link. It'll take you 90 seconds to sign up. That's it. That's it. Deposit 10 bucks. That's it. Take that 10 and put it right on Switzerland, minus 130, to take on Cameroon. Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Hey, maybe you missed it. Maybe you're watching this and it's past 5 a.m. on the East Coast. That's fine. That's fine. Take Portugal minus 250. Actually, take Ghana. You know, take Ghana right now. Or take Serbia against Brazil. Why not? Because all you need is for a goal to be scored. And guess what? Your $10 turns into $200. It's a beautiful thing. Then, as soon as you hit that, you can come hang with us at the Discord. Oh, look at that. First week is still free. Pretty cool, no? I mean, we, we're talking about this forever. Like, hey, your first week is free. Your first week is free. Why don't you take advantage of it? Your first week is free. Does it matter? I mean, look, I'll show you some of the greatest hits here. We got a nice 4307 same game parlay sweeping the board in Ivy League football. A six and two nights last night alone in college hoops. Like, I'll show you the greatest hits, but the big thing is just that you get your first week free, man. First week free. So just try it out. Test it out. Tell us we suck. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Win some money. That's probably the better thing, right? Step in and win some money and have some fun in the process because we're having a blast. We're all on here, too. There are probably some people that you read that you don't see on here like Isaiah. Sharp-ass Isaiah is on here, too. Cranking out Discord picks left and right. All right, here's our five and five. Oh, they just closed Zeke. Well, we got in earlier. I got in at 43 and a half on the Discord, so there you go. Over 20 and a half team total for the Detroit Lions. That's too low. Over 46 and a half was fine for us. We stopped at 46 and a half. Probably 48 and a half was the cutoff. Over 37 and a half rushing yards for Daniel Jones. That's dipped. Over one and a half field goals, still plus money for Nick Folk. Love that right there. And then last, we're taking a stab at the Atlanta Falcons. Six, one and one against the spread this year. Three and one as a road dog. Mariota himself is 10 and three against the spread versus the on the road part of me. 
in his career versus the NFC. He's got good numbers, man. Everything about it. I think the I cashed out. I told the Discord I cashed out my Washington ticket at minus three. Got a full point out of that and took Atlanta at plus four and a half. That was earlier. I, I rethought that now. Hey, nothing to rethink about this one. Have yourselves a happy, healthy, and safe Thanksgiving. Talk to you Saturday for the slate.